Hey guys, what's up? So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about how to care for one of the most simplest tree frogs that there is in the pet trade, the American Green Tree Frog. I'm Jan Tantana, this is Jan the Lizard. Stay tuned. So, American Green Tree Frog is one of the most common and cheapest tree frogs to keep around the world. They are very small, they only get like that big. And they are very easy to feed, really easy to take care of. Although that doesn't mean you can just leave them in a leave them in a little tank. You gotta make sure that they got what they need to survive for like six years. Yeah, they don't really live that long. So if you want it to live forever, American green tree frogs are not for you. So let's get right into tank size and requirements. So you can put them in something like a little tub or like if you want to put them in like a um shoot in a um shoot god in a glass tank I would recommend putting them in a vertical one because they do like to climb hence the name tree frogs. I have mine which is Goliath in a in a 18 by 18 not a 12 by 12 by 18 it is 12 it is 12 inches wide, 12, no, it's 12 inches long, 12 inches wide, and 18 inches tall. Let me see if I can show y'all him. Here he is, he's just chilling. So, they do need a lot of things to hide him because they are pretty skittish, although they're handleable. So, they you can put in th something like fake plants, real plants. Whatever you think looks better, whatever you think is better, but they do need stuff to hide in, and they need water bowls, Be even though they don't really see standing water, and they'll need a fogger system right here, like what I have, you can put it in there because they'll actually sit in the water, and that actually how they drink. They don't drink through the mouth like us and other animals do. They actually drink through their skin. So they'll go like, oh, look, some water. Hmm, that was some refreshing water. And so they will need, like, shoot, I think that's all they need. But I, yeah, but I do plan to have a bioactive enclosure for Goliath in the future when I get him in the shed because. Mm -hmm. I don't want him living in plastic for his entire life. I do hope to put him in shoot what I keep on repeating stuff. But let's move on to feeding. So they are carnivorous or insectivorous. Insectivorous, whatever. So they will eat things like insects. Oh my god. They will eat things like crickets, soup worms, zuby roaches, wax worms. And basically one of the frog laws, if you're a frog, is that if it fits in your mouth, it's edible. Don't give your frog random things to eat. Don't. Just don't, please. But they will eat a bunch of insects, and they will jump around and catch other things. They're like the velociraptors of the frog world. So they will, like, I've seen him. Well, I mean, I've more like heard him, but I've heard him, like, Jump all the way across his enclosure to grab a cricket. Hey, Wyatt. Sorry. But, so yeah, and they will catch um insects across the thing. Although you can't tweeze or feed them if you want. But now I have some, just sit some mealworms for them. I might try to tweeze or feed them to them later. But that's basically all they need for feeding. Okay, let's move on to handleability. So, they're very easy to handle. I mean, like, they, they're they not like cuddling species because they're frogs, of course. So, they're, they're very absorbent, so they can easily dry out. And that's very bad for the frog, of course. And so, they will, they, they can't really, like, get out of their enclosure if they want to. But, um, shoot, why do I keep on unfocusing? Is that even a word? Sorry. 
but he whenever I take life out of his tank when I hold him to show my friends or family he does sit on my hand for like a few seconds to a minute but then he just jumps off whenever he wants which I don't I don't have a problem with he can do what he wants when it comes to handling cuz I don't want him to get stressed out and another thing about um, American Green Tree Frogs is that they will change your colors depending on what color they're sitting on. So if it's like a darker color, like the background, he will be like a brown, like a dark brown, like chocolate. If he's like sitting in his, shoot, what, in his log or tree, whatever you want to call this. He'll be like a green. Sometimes I see, like, some blue little details. I don't know why he has blue details. Oh, my God. Sorry, that was just my uh, dog. They, they were just playing. But, yeah, let me see if I can give you a little view on him. Let's see. Please don't fall. Okay. That thing won't fall. It cannot fit. Let's see if we can. Yeah, you can see him. He has a tiny bit of blue detail. That's cool. But I usually don't try to mess with them. They're not like an interacting species. But if you do want to handle them, that's completely fine. Just make sure that they don't jump away or get on the floor because they could pick up things that you don't want. Back at the old house. Oh my god. Roma. Get. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. That was just my dog. And so. Now let's move on to. Humidity. And so. They like it very moist. Yes I already missed it down. Because I thought I was recording. And I forgot that I. Didn't unpause it, but yeah. They like it nice and moist. So what I do is, is so that mist doesn't escape here. I close one door, then I... I just missed, missed the hell out of it. Sorry for my language, I'm just... I just think it's cool and it'll get me more subscribers. I don't know what I'm saying. Just gonna sit down, make it nice and moist. Gotta get that little frog booty. Get that little frog booty. They have little frog butts. Let's see if I can get a view of it. Look at that frog butt. Oh god, why am I showing my frog's butt? That's weird. Now I got water all over my, on my phone. That was a bad choice, but it was worth it. Y'all got to see some frog butts. And so, yeah, I think, I, we, you know, we took care of humidity. That's the only thing. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I put a fogger so that the air gets humid also. And so, I think that's all. Created a tank, tank size and needings. Feeding, humidity, handling. True, I think that's all. So I guess that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. This is Jana Lizard, and if you want, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell for no for more reptile and reptile and anime content. Bye, Felicia's.